<laughs> do you think you passed or failed? I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, probably fail. Uh, I'm not sure. You passed. Well done. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Hi guys, welcome to another video and another driving mock test. Before we get going, if anyone wants to take part in a driving mock test, give us a follow on Instagram, drop us a message and then we'll select random participants. So this learner driver that's turned up here hasn't had any lessons from me, hasn't met me before and he's only here just to see if he's ready for the actual driving test. So just a side note, we don't have the pedal cameras this time because the learner driver is sitting this driving test in his own car. So today's learner driver is Joel. Joel tell me tell the viewers a little bit more about yourself and a bit about your driving. Sure um, my name is Joel um, I've been driving for the last 15 years um, I recently moved to the UK so I've been driving here with the international license I've had um, a bit of experience uh, and also some tips from a friend of mine who I've been driving with um, so yeah that's that's my background all right so have you got any areas of your driving your week on i think i feel pretty confident um driving a car like knowing how to handle a car but i think there's still areas where i need to be familiar with uh in with regards to you know tackling certain situations in the in in the uk yeah so have you got a test coming up soon yes very soon <laughs> yeah so when's the test today it's later today yeah, you did tell me it's today hopefully you do well um, you'll understand the earlys what you need to work on and then obviously you can probably work on them before you go in for the test so before the test the examiner can ask you a tell me question so have you learned the tell me questions yes <laughs> okay so i'll throw you an easy one it's not a difficult one so sh tell me how you check how the head restraint is correctly adjusted so the the middle of the head restraint needs to be at the level of your um ears or your eyes so yeah. um just make sure that uh it is and yeah. i think it is yeah. yeah so that's the correct answer middle part rigid part should be as high as the eyes and close and comfortable so um, you must have watched our YouTube videos, uh, you'll be driving independently yourself, you'll be driving on your own all the way throughout and then you'll be if you make a mistake whilst you're driving, I won't go over the mistakes. At the end of the test, we'll go over the mistakes and what you need to work on. Um, also, uh, we won't follow the sat -nav this time, I'll be giving you directions verbally, so I'll be telling you directions. Um, then after that, I may be tell you to follow signs here and there. Uh, is that okay? That's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Move off when you're ready. Joel takes a moment to check his blind spots before starting to drive to see if it's safe to move off. So at the end of the road, we're going to be turning left. Okay. As he approaches the junction, notice how he takes a measured approach, checking his mirrors and signalling with ample time. Take note of how he leans forward to make thorough observations before safely pulling out onto the road. So at this mini roundabout coming, we're going to be turning right. He does this mini roundabout really well, staying within its boundaries and refraining from crossing over onto the roundabout itself. As a result of the parked vehicles, available space on the road is quite limited. However, Joel navigates this section skillfully, maintaining a suitable speed and keeping a safe distance from the parked vehicles. Mm -hmm. 
Turning right on a bend can be challenging, as many learners tend to cut across the opposite lane. However, Joel performs this flawlessly by skillfully avoiding any corner cutting and staying safely within his own lane. So can you see that black vehicle on the left? Yes. We're just going to pull up behind it. Okay. So here I'll be asking Joel to carry out the parallel park manoeuvre. Yeah, so just do the parallel park on that car in front. In this car, okay, is it? Okay. Before moving off, he carries out good observations, checking over the back window and both blind spots. He pulls up alongside the parked vehicle quite close. Just watch before reversing he does really good observations, but whilst reversing he doesn't do sufficient checks over his back window and both blind spots. He finishes off in a decent position, nice and close to the kerb. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Move off when you're ready. When moving off, he gets slightly close to the parked vehicle. We do talk about this at the end of test feedback, which you guys must listen to. This roundabout he does it really well, he selects a correct lane and follows the roundabout from the inside and checks his mirrors and signals off before exiting. Now this roundabout coming, turning right, third exit, turning right. Joel has a fast approach towards this roundabout, also he does select the correct lane to go straight ahead but as he enters the roundabout slightly veers off to the right but then does correct his position. This roundabout coming straight ahead, second exit. Straight ahead. When exiting the roundabout, Joel signalled slightly too early. Ideally, he should have signalled when the wing mirror was in the middle of the first exit to avoid confusing other drivers into thinking that he was taking the first exit. During the driving exam, examiners usually instruct students to pull up on the left hand side of the road and then move off again multiple times. Joel successfully follows the MSM routine and parks close to the curb. When it's safe to do so, I'd like you to pull up on the left hand side. Thank you. 
move off when you're ready. Prior to driving away, Joel performed all the necessary safety checks, except for checking his right blind spot. It's crucial to check this area as it's not visible through the mirrors. Man, that's all. <laughs> it is quite bright. That is. Car hybrid. Yes, yeah. You trying to save the planet? <laughs> <laughs> trying to save money. <laughs> save. <laughs> In a little while, I'll be presenting Joel one of the show me questions. Let's hope he can execute the task flawlessly. So, when you find this safe, oh, show me how to open and close your windows. Joel came to a stop before the keep clear sign but he should have stopped ahead of it, since there was enough space to do so. Although the traffic lights do turn green, Joel seems to notice them a bit late. We'll discuss this during the test feedback at the end, so be sure not to miss it. Can't see the signal, is that green? That's green, isn't it? Yeah. Joel should have moved over from the fast lane to the slower lane after the roadworks had finished. Fortunately, we didn't affect any other road users. We'll be carrying out the emergency stop shortly. Let's see how Joel performs. Okay, so shortly we're going to do the emergency stop. Okay. Yeah, when I say stop, you need to stop. Okay. Joel stops the vehicle well in good time and quickly during the emergency stop. It's vital to check all around including the blind spots before moving off again. And Joel does this. Stop! Move. As we reach the end of the test, let's find out if Joel noticed any of the faults he made during the drive. Then you can switch the car off. Yeah, so that's the end of the test. How do you feel you done, Joel? I don't mind failing this one, <laughs> to be honest. So, I don't know. I think I think there were a few hiccups on the way, but um, I didn't crash anywhere, so I'm happy. <laughs> do you think you passed or failed? I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, probably fail. Uh, I'm not sure. You passed. Well done. Seriously? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you've done well, pretty well. So, there was a few couple of mistakes you made. Um, the, you didn't get any serious fault. The, there was, okay, the first one was um, you approach speed towards a roundabout. You need to be a little bit more. Sometimes what happens is you're approaching roundabouts a little bit fast and then you see a car and we have to brake a little bit hard. Yeah. Do you understand? Right. So your approach needs to be a little bit slower. Okay. And then talking about the parallel park, um, first of all, when I made, when I told you to pull up on the left-hand side for the parallel park, 
you pulled up close to that car in front. A lot of students thinks, think that they have to like, obviously, go around the car very closely, be very tight around it, finish off like in a very tight, you don't need to leave a bit of gap. The thing is, when you pull up behind another car um, and you stop, always leave tyres and tarmac distance. That's because when you leave tyres and tarmac distance, when you're going around that vehicle, you, there's going to be a bit of space, do you yeah. understand? Yeah. And if you if you don't leave tyres and tarmac and you're too close to that vehicle in front, you're not leaving that much space when you're going around it. You're going around it closely. Right, yeah. So also, yeah, when we pulled, yeah. also when we pulled up alongside that car for the parallel park, we were close to it. Meaning the distance between your car and that vehicle on the left, what you're doing parallel park, when you pull up alongside it should be how much about a Morrison's trolley can fit through, about mm -hmm. a metre. Okay. That's because, say for instance, um, I leave more gaps. Say for instance, that's the, that car pulled up on the left hand side and that's us pulled up here. If we're very close to it, we're going to be going around it very close. Right. But if you pull up about a bit, you leave about a metre, you're not going to be going around it very close. Gotcha, yeah. Um, yeah. Then um, also, um, you did finish off, uh, obviously, but you didn't hit the curb or something. Um, and when you, st when you finished off um, the parallel park, you were close to that car again in right. front. Well, you should do leave a bit of distance. Do you get it? Tire and top max, right? Minimum. Okay. Even if you're a little bit more further, that's fine. Yeah. But make sure you don't, don't be too close because if you're too close and then the examiner says to you, move off when you're ready and you get yeah. very, very close, yeah. they could mark that as a serious. Gotcha. And gotcha. I did mark yeah. it as a serious because, I mean, if you're a little bit more closer, then I could have marked it as a serious. Yeah, yeah. But you left a little bit of distance, but you need to leave more distance. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, then on some occasions, I made you pull up on the left hand side twice. I made you pull up. Yeah. Obviously, the examiners, when you're driving, they make you pull up on the left hand side about a couple of times. Uh, moving off the first time, make sure uh, when you're moving off, you need to check blind spots. Yeah. You did check the right mirror, you ch check the right window, left window as well, you check over your shoulders. Because from these mirrors, you can't see what your blind spots, the yeah. your right yeah. and left blind spots. So you need to make sure you check them blind spots. Then um, those are them traffic lights when they turn green. You must have noticed, and the it was the bit, town center one, right? Yeah, yeah. But you did yeah. realize. I mean, like if you delayed it a bit more, yeah. then it could have become a serious. I was, I could yeah. intervene. But it was, it was quite sunny, so um, I understand that. But there was a little bit of a delay. It's yeah, like a driving was, fault. Yeah. But if you left it longer, I would have had to intervene. Very borderline, you'd say. <laughs> I want to say, yeah, a couple of more seconds. You got pretty close to failing this. Yeah. I mean, someone else has failed for this reason. Okay. No, I generally <laughs> couldn't see the lights. It, I was, I, it was I straight in my definitely, eyes. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely, 100%. And other than that, um, also, um, when the, when we got off on that round, you know, in the traffic lights, it was like uh, cones on the left, you must have noticed. Yes, two cones, yeah. Yeah. And it, I wasn't sure what they meant, to be honest. Uh, they were blocking off the left lane for a bit of time. Yeah. That's because um, probably work's going on. Yeah. Do you understand? But try moving back into left lane. One because, side, one side. Yeah. So I come, come back yeah. in, right. So when, whenever there's two lanes, what go to the same direction, always stick to left one. Gotcha. Why yeah. do you think you always stick to left one? Just shows that you're going straight and gives room for faster cars. To yeah, get well across. done. Yeah. Because the right lane is used for overtaking. Yeah. And obviously, if you're in the fast lane and someone undertakes you, it'll be a serious fault. That's because you made them do something was illegal. Because obviously, undertaking is not legal. Okay. So you've forced them to do it by you being slow. Um, That's useful, yeah. 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 Your emergency stop was good. I liked it. Meaning you've done your ob observations after as well. I was yeah, thinking yeah. you might miss your observations, yeah. but you've done your observations or you checked your back window, all your blind spots before you moved off. Um, what mistakes did you think you made? I think, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that bit that you pointed out with the cones in the middle, I wasn't sure why they were there. I knew I couldn't go down that lane, but... That was uh, something I was unsure about. Where did I make a mistake? Um, where, do you, where do you feel like you went? I was. On? I realized that I was quite close when I did that parallel parking. Yeah. Coming out of it, I was for a second. I thought, "Oh goodness, do I have to reverse again?" So but then, I, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, <coughs> in, I interrupted. No. So whenever you have a doubt that should I do something like 
I'm a bit close. Should I reverse back? Reverse back. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah you yeah. rather not risk it. Yeah, yeah. And then end up. Uh, what is it? Getting serious. <coughs> um, your senses even came on. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did at, at the end. But yeah, yeah. That was one point that I that I I kind of felt that okay, I was quite close. Um, the other time was. Um, I think one of the round. There were so many roundabouts. One of them, um, I probably signaled left too early. I felt maybe I don't know. Like I was, I was just going past the left, and then I signaled to left. I thought you might catch me on that. But when there was, is it the ones where there was no exits on the left? There was an exit, so I was passing the exit, and then I didn't fully pass it before oh, I signaled. Oh, you signaled slightly early. Early, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You meant a signal when the. I know which once one I, you're once, on about. Yeah, once uh, I you meant, Yeah. You get yeah, it. yeah. But there wasn't a car there, and also it was, it was fraction. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, other than that, your driving is good, and you will pass the test. Trust me, the actual test what you've got coming up. Thanks, I so appreciate just, it. Just keep an eye on them. That that could catch you up. And there was one roundabout. Um, um, the first roundabout when I said to you go, uh, there was a roundabout when there was two roundabouts similar, very similar. Yeah. They go straight ahead. You're in the left lane. We veered slightly off to the right. Then you noticed, then you moved back into the left. I don't I'd, know if you remember. Yeah. I mean, I and used to make that mistake a lot. Yeah. And then I've tried to remember that, you know, you need to stick to your lanes when you're in on the big roundabouts. When the mini roundabouts, not so much, right? Yeah. The big roundabouts. So yeah, yeah. whenever you're I in the left it. lane, make sure you follow it fully from yeah. the left side. Yeah. Whenever you're in the... There was one uh, exit. When I said to you go towards Asli village, um, you forgot to signal right. Yeah, and that was because, uh, yeah, that was another point where I wasn't yeah. sure because you, uh, so <clears throat> you said it's fine, don't signal, and then, and then, and, and then we, I know the next one, I, and you said take the second exit to the right, to the, no, you said go straight, right? Second exit, I said, yeah, second exit, side, and there was nothing second. on the road, there was no yeah. like arrows on the road, and I took the right lane, yeah. so I wasn't sure whether I should have moved to the left because usually it's left that. You, you you stay on the left sometimes to go straight, right? Yeah, you're right. So I wasn't sure if, because there were no markings on the road for that that roundabout, so... Uh, the, there was markings, but they were very faded. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah. Um, the roundabout, uh, the one you're we talking about, normally on every roundabout, whenever you're taking the final exit, you stick to right. Other than that, all the exits, you stick to the left lane. Yeah, but that's if there's no road markings. I think we but went straight for that roundabout. It, Sorry, it, it, that's know. that's like um, it wasn't straight. But it shows it on the board a little bit, like straight, a little bit out to right. But that exits like after about it's about half to two o'clock. If yeah. you see it on a clock. Yeah, yeah. But with that, you need to signal right. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 And other than that, your driving was good. Um, your mirror checks were good as well. When you're moving in and out, you're checking your mirrors. Um, also on speed, sometimes um, what you need to remember: if a road, if this road is a 40 mile per hour, and you turn right or left, when you enter that round, uh, enter that road, new road, if there's no speed sign, it carries on from the previous road. Gotcha. And a majority of the speed signs come beginning of the road and end of the road. Yeah. So that's where a lot of people don't be aware that much, yeah. because beginning of the road, um, you're looking out for different things when you're pulling out to a junction, or say for instance when you reach end of the road. Um, you're concentrating on slowing down and then checking as well but that's when a lot of times um, new speed limit signs come yeah, so yeah. just keep an eye on that yeah um, thanks yeah that was that was useful yeah yeah I, I struggle with with speed sometimes and I try yeah, and I just stick to 30 because I'm because there are times when I'm just like, what's the speed limit here? Because I'm looking around, but there's nothing. So I just stick to 30. Yeah, I could tell by it because on one of the round, from one round back to another, you dropped your speed a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was thinking, he's got a bit of a doubt. What speed limit is it here? Yeah. But um, if you don't see another speed limit sign, carries on from the previous road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I was just uh, not because one of them were, was a 40. One of the round, round, I think a few of them were 40. Yeah. And then a few of them were 30. So I was just sticking to the 30 because I wasn't sure whether this was 40 again. Yeah. If you know what I mean. And as soon as you saw the 40 reminder, you started building. Your I, speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I saw the 40, I knew I needed to speed up. Yeah. Yeah. But you just keep an eye out. So, say, for instance, there's one round where you enter, it's 40 mile per hour. Then you exit the round, but whilst you're exiting, you see no other sign. 
it'll carry on from that gotcha. previous one. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So if this video has benefited you, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next video.